Hey guys, welcome to the YouTube channel of Conscious History, where we will unveil the hidden truths of the past. Love, as they say, knows no boundaries. In the world of romantic relationships, there exists a captivating and timeless dynamic that has sparked our curiosity for centuries. Older women paired with younger men. This phenomenon has intrigued ancient mythology, storytellers, artists, and historians throughout history. For example, Diana de Poitiers was considered as one of the most beautiful women in all of Europe, and her story became famous when she fell in love with Prince Henry, who was 18 years her junior. In this video, we will look at this and other examples of these kind of relationships that have intrigued the human imagination for centuries. In this video, we want to show you that these and other kind of relationships are timeless and have been going on for centuries, showcasing that love always finds its own path. If you like in-depth history videos, like and subscribe to our channel and let's start the video. To explore the origins and enduring fascination for these kind of relationships, let's journey back to the heart of ancient Greece, where myth and reality are often intertwined. In Greek mythology, Stories of ageless love have been part of human storytelling for decades. Especially since older women in Greek mythology were displayed as more self-confident. Making a story more appealing since romances like these were often described as an assertive individual pursuing what they desired. Relationships like these bring together individuals from different life stages, enriching their lives with a blend of experiences and different perspectives. History shows us that when two people are genuinely compatible, the bond between them, forged in shared dreams, laughter and mutual respect, becomes the melody that defies their relationship, rather than the years that separate them. Let's dive through history and some of these examples. Elizabeth Woodville, an intriguing historical figure from the 15th century, is renowned not only for her position as the Queen of England, but also for her younger love, King Edward IV. Elizabeth Woodsfield's story is a captivating one that highlights the power of love, devotion and the ability to transcend societal norm. Elizabeth was born into English nobility. After the death of her first husband, Sir John Grey, Elizabeth's life took a remarkable turn when she met the fierce King Edward IV of England. Their love story, characterized by a whirlwind romance, was a short medieval fairy tale. Legend has it that Elizabeth stood by a roadside with her two sons, seeking audience with the king to request her late husband's land to be restored to her children. Edward, shocked by her beauty and presence, fell head over heels in love with Elizabeth and decided to make her his queen. Elizabeth approximately 27 at that time, married Edward, age 22, which created a scandal at the court. Even though the marriage did not come without its challenges, the age difference between them did not hinder their deep affection for one another. Their marriage played a vital role in the Wars of the Roses. Together, they weathered political storms, power struggles and opposition from those who opposed their union. Despite the challenges, after King Edward's passing, their love remained a cherished and beautiful chapter in Elizabeth's life, also giving the fact that they had ten children together. Diane de Poitiers was considered the most beautiful woman in all of Europe in the 16th century. Not only was she exceptionally good-looking, she also possessed a sharp mind. Diane worked at the French court, providing guidance on matters of culture, refinement and etiquette. This is where a young Prince Henry II learned his first acts of etiquette. At this time, Diana was married to Louise de Brézé, a man 39 years her senior. But when he died, years later, and Prince Henry blossomed into a grown man at the age of 18, there arose a magnetic attraction between Diana and Henry on both intellectual and physical level. They met at the French court during social activity 
where Diane was already a prominent figure. Henry was impressed by Diane's wisdom and elegance. Diane was shocked by the shared interest in the intellectual connection. Despite the fact that Diane was allegedly 36 years old and Henry was 18, and that there was an 18 years age difference between them, their relationship became romantic. Diane, known for her wit and charm, became not only Henry's lover, but also his trusted advisor. She used her position to promote causes she believed in and was respected by the court for her wisdom and judgment. Their love story was marked by its intensity and the enduring nature of their affection. After his passing, she lived a quieter life but remained a respected figure in French history. Elizabeth Singer Rowe was a prominent English poet and writer in the early 18th century. She was a pioneering female writer of her time, best known for her poetic works. She made significant contributions to English literature. Her most celebrated work, The History of Joseph, was reprinted numerous times during her lifetime. Her writing made her famous, and because of the fame, she reportedly received dozens of proposals. Eventually, she fell in love with Thomas Rowe, who was 13 years her junior. At the time of their wedding, she was 35 and he was 22, but it was the intellectual chemistry that crafted their everlasting bond. He supported Elizabeth's writing and literary pursuits, and she loved him deeply. When he passed away too early, this had profound impact on her, expressing her grief and loss in her writings. This couple showed that chemistry transcends time. When British politician Benjamin Disraeli met Mary Ann Lewis in the late 1830s, it was hardly love at first sight. It is believed that they were introduced to each other through mutual social and political connections. At the time, Benjamin Disraeli was a rising star in British politics. Mary Ann Lewis was a well-known figure in these circles as well. Due to her intellect, outspokenness, beauty, charm and well financial status. Even though she was a widow and 12 years his senior, Benjamin felt a magnetic attraction and proposed marriage. The couple wed in 1839, when he was 27 and she was 40, and their souls only fell deeper in love. Similar to that of Josephine de Beauharnais with Napoleon, Mary Ann played a vital role in Benjamin Disraeli's political success. She was a gracious hostess who organized social gatherings and parties then allowed Benjamin to network with influential individuals. Her counsel and guidance were instrumental in helping him overcome political challenges. When he finally became Prime Minister, the pair remained devoted to one another until the very end giving him support and accompanying him on all his political tours. In later times, Mary Ann would have said, Benjamin married me for my money, but if he had the chance again, he would marry me for love. Their souls found each other, transcending in a bond that would last until eternity. The last of this series is Lady Randolph Churchill, other known as Janet or Jenny. Of course, being famous for being the mother of the later British Prime Minister, but also because she was an intellectual beauty who was admired by her surroundings. Jenny was well respected and influential in the highest British social and political circles. She was said to be intelligent, witty and had a great sense of humor. After her husband's passing, Jenny's magnetic beauty drew her towards younger companions probably because of the attention and admiration of younger admirers. Jenny mixed in with the highest London society circles, where she met George Cornwallis West, a captain in the Scots Guards. Rumor has it that he instantly fell in love, and after spending much time together, the couple married on the 28th of July, Jenny being 46 and George being 26 at that time with a 20 years age gap between them. Their hearts drawn together by an undeniable bond. The couple shared a love that defied the convention of their time. However, 
as with many passionate love stories, external factors began to influence their journey. George's financial struggles casted a shadow upon their relationship. The weight of these financial burdens grew over time, leading up to the couple drifting apart. Eventually, the couple made the heartbreaking decision to part ways. Their separation marked the end of a passionate love story. After their breakup, Jenny Jerome Churchill was still known as a timeless muse, lightning fire in the hearts of her admirers. She was characterized by a deep understanding of the world around her. In British high society, she met Montagu Pippin Porch at a classic ball, when they were introduced to each other. They married after the war in 1918, when she was 64 and he was 41 with a 23 years age gap between them. She would later recall, my second marriage was romantic but not successful. My third marriage was successful but not romantic. In the narrative of Jenny and all other women, we find proof that love knows no boundaries when it comes to the way our souls intertwine. When it is possible a person finds a soulmate it's a testament to life's beautiful surprises, that when two hearts find a connection, it goes beyond the years that separate them. What do you think about these relationships? Have you ever been touched by a love story that defied age? And did you know these type of relationships were also very present in the past? Would you like to see more of these examples? Leave me your answers below in the comments, and if you liked the video, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that YouTube will notify you once we upload a new video. We upload historical videos regularly, don't miss out and see you next time at Conscious History.